Hey guys, this is Belinda and it is Tuesday Tool Weigh In and today is um, June 11th, I believe, of 2013. Uh, as always, I always start with the numbers and I try to make videos as short as possible. So, uh, I'll start with what happened last week, which was I, uh, I had, uh, I believe I lost like uh, 0.8 tenths of a pound. So, uh, this week, my inner fat girl showed up quite a few times, made quite a few appearances, and I will speak about that after I give you the numbers. Uh, this is week 49, and uh, at my highest weight of, uh, highest weight of uh, 332, I've lost down 147.4 pounds. Uh, three, uh, when I went to 320 at my um, first pre-op appointment with Dr. Ray, I've lost 135.4. Since surgery date of 269.5, I've lost 84.9 pounds. Last week's weight was 183.6. And this week's weight is 184.6. Yeah, it's only a pound, but it's not the pound that's the problem uh, for me. Uh... The problem was, as usual, it was my attitude about what I was doing. And I'm going to keep it real and tell you all exactly what I've been doing um, this past week that's caused me to gain this pound because, you know, a lot of people get on here and they say, I just don't know why. And, but you know what? And there are people on here who say they do know why. And I'm one of those people who knows exactly why that pound came back on. Okay. Um peanut butter I'll go in and this is what is the killer I go in in the in the middle of the night I go up to get to go pee I'll go into the kitchen and get two or three spoons of peanut butter or one morning I got up at three o'clock in the morning ate a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch cereal with a half a cup of milk or I got up and ate two cheese sticks I mean I've been doing this all week long getting up in the middle of the night and eating whatever the hell I want, even though, you know, like I said, I've always said, it's never like it was before, you know. Before I got in the middle of the night, I go down to Crystal's and get like five cheese crystals, a large chili, a large chili cheese fry, and a large uh, Coke. You know, this is a lot better, but either way, it still puts on the weight, and it's not just, like I said, it's not just the weight, it's the attitude that I had towards it. You know, it's like, oh, it'll be alright tomorrow, it'll be alright tomorrow, I'll start on Monday. And you know what, you just can't, no matter whether you've had weight loss surgery or you have on any kind of weight loss surgery, you cannot have that kind of attitude. And I'm trying not to be complacent with being happy with uh, and being in my hundred, being in the 180s. But I, ha I actually am happy being in the 180s, but I do want to move forward to my goal. I don't want to keep going back, you know, because I want, uh, I just want to, if I can get to 150, then I can just start doing my, um, maintenance which is basically what I'm doing right now you know it's easier for me it seems like to do maintenance than it is to keep losing I don't know if anybody can I guess y'all can relate to that but uh like I said my inner fat girl showed up and she showed up with attitude and, and I mean I mean I just ate things all week long you know it sucked you know and I'm trying to kick her to the curb and I have today uh I mean, I started off so good yesterday, you know. I had uh, a bowl of cereal for breakfast. I had uh, tuna for lunch. And then I made me and Chuck some uh, baked tilapia with a side salad. But after I had that baked tilapia and that side salad, I was still hungry. So I went and got a bag of Doritos and some salsa and ate half a bag of Doritos and a half a jar of salsa. Now, y'all know I ain't supposed to do that. Neither y'all. That's why I'm not. I'm surprised I didn't gain more than I did because the scale's been going up and down all week long from like 182 to 188. Like last night, I laid 188 before I went to bed. You know, um, so it's just a, it's it's just a daily process. It's always such a process, you know. And it's going to be for the rest of your life, rest of my life, you know. And sometimes, you know, I get tired of the battle. You know, people at war don't want to battle every day because they get over it. They're tired of it. But if something means something to you, then you will battle it every day as long as you have to to make yourself happy. And for the most part, if I never lost another pound, I'm happy with the way I physically look right now. Aside from the loose skin. I believe once I had the plastics to have uh, the reconstructive surgery to have the skin removed, 
I think I'd probably be okay with weighing, with weighing like 180, 185, you know, somewhere in there. Or even lower. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's all a process. I just don't know right now. I'm just telling you how I feel as of this moment. That that little inner fat girl, she's got to get the hell up out of here. Because, you know, I didn't go through all this pain of having the surgery and the constipation and the people making, well, not making fun of me, but having snotty comments when they find out how I lost the weight, you know, just things like that, which doesn't really bother me. But anyway, I digress. Thing is, I'm trying to say is, just keep on, keep on your journey and take it one day at a time and everything will be okay. And that's what I'm doing. And uh, I also wanted to say something to my good friend on here, Miss Beautiful Alicia. Alicia, I know you're having a hard day today. Um, you may have to go to the emergency room. Um, this too shall pass. It always does. It just takes a little time. I mean, you've only ha you've not even one week post op yet. It's going. It, it it's it can be a little rough. The first month isn't the, always the easiest, you know. But you can do it. I mean, look what you've come come through and done so far. All on your own before you even had the surgery. So I have every bit of faith and confidence in you that you're going to whip this. Just don't let it whip you, okay? I know you won't. But uh, I'll be praying for you, and I love you very much. And um, that's my update, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. And to my family outside the square box and friends, I love y'all very much. Child like your nature, rhythm, you have it or you don't, that's a fallacy, I'm in them. Every sprouting tree, every child of peace, every cloud and sea, you see with your eyes and see destruction and demise, corruption that's in the right. sky.